Hey everybody, this is your girl Pisces Empress 555 coming at you today with a, another reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, we're going to do a full moon reading just to see what your energy is like during this harvest moon season, okay? We're going into autumn, so we're just going to see what your energy is like, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I load new readings, okay? And also, leave me a comment in the comment section below so that I can respond and we can just participate and we can just talk in the comments, okay? Thank you so much for coming by. Let's start by praying over the deck. Hope everyone is doing well. So three shuffle, that was one. We saw the sun card, so I'm thinking that the energy is pretty good overall. We'll see. And one more. Spirit messages for Pisces during the harvest moon. Messages for Pisces during the harvest moon season. Messages for yeah. Messages for Pisces during the harvest moon. Messages for Pisces. Messages for my Pisces during this harvest moon. Holy Spirit. We have the Emperor card, Aries energy. So Pisces, at this time, during this full moon week, because we had a full moon, I believe, on the 20th, Monday, September 20th. Yeah. So you are feeling pretty good. You are feeling empowered. You are feeling confident. <clears throat> Definitely in your Emperor status. Okay? Like I said, this is Aries energy. Full of um, potential leadership skills. You're just feeling just good, just very paternal, just in your, um, for the ladies, you're feeling more empowered. And you know, we all can have masculine and feminine energy, but you're more, you're feeling more empowered. And fellas, you're feeling just stronger and sharper and wiser and, and collectively just feeling in, just good. I did see the sun card <clears throat> while I was shuffling. So not only are you feeling good, you're feeling confident, all right? We have the Nine of Wands in the upright. Could have been dealing with or dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire sign. Yeah. So Pisces, I have to be honest. I believe that you are a bit more reserved, but you're still you. And what I mean is I believe that um, as we get closer to the end of this year, you are coming to the realization that you have grown so much and you've also learned to retract your energy from those who don't deserve it, right? You have just become so much wiser and just more aware. So at this time, I wouldn't say that you're guarded. I would say that you are learning to protect your energy. You are learning what avenues should have access to you, right? And which avenue shouldn't. So I believe you're standing in that energy. Okay, wow. We have the magician card. Yes, yeah, so you're manifesting new things, great things. Hopefully you've manifested some good things that have come to fruition this year, but you're definitely working on manifesting um, for the upcoming year. Um, I think you're setting some goals for yourself. It may be fitness, career, um, maybe you got some of you want to get married, some of you desire to have a relationship, anything that you've been thinking about, your heart's desire. I think, Pisces, you have been working on manifesting those things, okay? We have the Four of Wands. Yes, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yes, 
feeling, like I said, you're feeling pretty more, like, how do we describe it? It's like you're feeling more balanced, right? You're feeling more in control of your emotions and um, the repercussions of actions. I think you're taking accountability. But with all of that, life's lessons have taught you that you need to protect your energy. So you're just in this protective mode, but not in a defensive way. You have just learned so much um, over the course of this year and years prior that you're just in a very protective mode. But you gotta remember, you are in this emperor status. So, absolutely. You have the four of pentacles. Earth sign energy could be dealing with an earth sign or affiliated with one. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, yeah. Feeling confident. Feeling like retracting your energy or not expelling it so much is a safer option, right? So you're very feeling very hopeful in whatever it is that you want to manifest. And I believe, Pisces, you are beginning to manifest and see your manifestations now as we speak, okay? Wow. Awesome. So we're going to take a look at an oracle for you. This is just a little quick full moon energy check, okay? Harvest moon. So let's do two shuffles with the oracle. I got one. And two. Messages for my Pisces, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Pisces, Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah, let's go one more. Messages for my Pisces, Holy Spirit. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, guys. Hit the notification bell so you can be uploaded updated of um, new readings and check out my other readings on my page as well okay all right Pisces taking a look at your energy we have the truth the truth card in the reverse and the trust card in the reverse yes these are two things that you couldn't do with yourself and I'm gonna tell you why I don't think that you've always been able to live in your truth right and whatever that is to you, however it resonates to you, I don't think until now you weren't able to live in your truth. And you didn't trust that your truth was worth living, right? So you didn't live in your truth at one time and you didn't feel like your truth was like worth living. You didn't trust that your truth was worth living. But you're coming out of that. And we have the voyage card. You're just more confident in your decision more aware and you're coming out of a reverse protect protection card so yeah you just didn't protect yourself you didn't protect your energy and we see that now your goal for this harvest moon season is to um stay in control or get in better control of how you expel your energy whether that's in love family career spiritually, socially, any avenue. I think you are really in your self-preservation mode, which is great because you're manifesting good things and you want to keep that vibration high so that you can keep manifesting those good things, okay? Wow, Pisces. It's looking, looking really, really good. Oh, man, I'm so happy for you. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. This was just a quick Harvest Moon reading. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of new readings. Take a look at my readings that I have on my channel already, okay? And also, thank you to my new subscribers. I really appreciate you coming by and checking me out and becoming a member of the Pisces Empress 555 family. And as always, my Pisces, have a blessed and safe one. And until next time. Bye.